Oh my god. You can never convince me that hockey is not the greatest sport in the world after what we just saw in the final games of the regular season. The Red Wings trailing the Montreal Canadiens by one goal with under a minute to go in the game. Capitals tied with the Flyers with under five minutes to go in the game. The Pittsburgh Penguins, the other team in this equation, at home watching, praying that both of these teams lose so they have a chance for a win and end tomorrow. And for the Red Wings, it's looking very dire. It's under 10 seconds to go. There's a face-off in the offensive zone, but they have got to win the draw and get a shot on net and hopefully get a goal in the dying seconds of the game. Let us pray. Comes alive. Face-off. Back to Goss's bear. Up top. Roger score! Oh, holy shit. They actually did it. They actually managed to pull it off. And just a day after that insane three-goal comeback against these same Canadians, man, the Red Wings just have the feeling of a team of destiny. Nothing's going to get in their way. Yo. Yo, so come on. Yo, Omar coming, man. Oh, shit. And by God, that's John Tortorella's music. Because you see, the Flyers are still technically in the hunt for the playoff spot. They just have to win in regulation and get a bunch of other stuff to happen their way. So with three minutes to go in the game tied, needing to win in regulation, Tortorella pulls his goaltender. And what happens? Beat Washington in regulation. Through center, it's Oshie. Oshie working I'm wide. Fires yes! and scores! And all of this is happening in just the span of a few minutes. I swear to God, the Pittsburgh Penguins are sitting there watching these games like hilarious sand, watching the Viper get his head smushed in. The Red Wings are going to overtime with the chance to win and put away the Pittsburgh Penguins, but the Capitals are now holding on to a one-goal lead thanks to that empty netter. The Flyers still have their goalie pulled going for that win, and it is tension time for all four of these teams. And what ends up happening, the Caps hold on to that one-goal lead and secure the win, clinching the last playoff spot in the East. Penguins will play tomorrow for absolutely nothing as they miss the playoffs for the second straight year. The Detroit Red Wings, who put up a valiant effort, go to the shootout against the Canadiens, knowing that they have no chance of making the playoffs. They win in the shootout and have maybe the most sad, pathetic celebration of a win that I've seen outside of Charlie Brown. So the Caps are in, and everybody and their mother online is furious because of the minus 37 goal differential, one of the worst that's ever made the playoffs, the worst in 25 years. And to that, I have just one thing to say. Suck it. The Chaos Goblins are in, baby. No, what an undeserving team. Look at all these better teams that didn't make it in. They're going to get absolutely curved stock. Life's so unfair. Oh, let me tell you something, Red Wings and Penguins fans who are sitting here insisting that they should have made the playoffs because they're the better team than the Caps. You're not better. And do you know how I know that? Tell them, Mark Zuckerberg. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. I may be a stats nerd, but at the end of the day, you know what counts? is the W's, and the Caps stacked those up all year. Red Wings, guess what? You lost two of your three games to the Caps this season. Penguins, you split your four-game season series 2-2 two to two and were dead even in goal differential in that series, 11-11. to 11. And to everybody whining that this first-round series is now going to be so easy for the Rangers, do you know how the Rangers Capital Series broke down this year? 2-2, two to two, a perfectly even split, and the goal differential? 9-9 to nine in those four games. And the Caps? Playing with house money. Nothing to lose. Nobody believes in them. Nobody thought they'd make it here. Rangers? President's Trophy winner. A lot of pressure on them. Veteran team, veteran coach, a lot of expectations. And President's Trophy winners don't always win the first round. We saw it with Boston last year, Tampa a few years before that. I'm not saying the Caps are going to win this series, but I am saying that I wouldn't get too comfortable if I was a Rangers fan. But to the Red Wings and Penguins fans out there who are upset about how the Capitals snuck in with no business of making it there, and about that goal that got disallowed against the Flyers, which probably was kind of BS, uh, I would just like to actually congratulate y'all on a very good, very hard-fought regular season. And even though this may seem like a dark time for your teams, please try and take some comfort in the fact that you now have plenty of time to think of salty comments about how you would have made it far if you had gotten in over the Capitals.